Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, it's because you picked potions for your Trash Panda treasure box. So let's take a look, we'll see what you've got, and see what you can do with it. So what's in a potions box? Well, you have your glass vials for use in potion making. You have um, all sorts of ingredients, both kind of wet ingredients, flower worm mucus, um, alohatsi leaf juice, I believe, leaf liquid, and then you have some dry ingredients in the envelopes, all taped shut. Um, you're gonna have a funnel and you're gonna have a spoon to help you mix those up, and then your potion making book, which comes equipped with four different potion recipes, and then, um, yeah, Felix Felicis gets the rounded bottle, and then blank pages for you to add your own that you want to experiment with afterwards. And you can follow those as closely or as loosely as you want. It's totally up to you. I will give you a quick tip. Um, for the liquid ingredients, the standard ingredients, flower or mucus, those, that's really what the funnel is for. Um, you'll be able to just kind of take off the lid and pour those in, um, and then the the bottom will go right in the top of your glass vials because once you've gotten that in there um, all of the dry stuff would stick to it so don't put those in the funnel that's what your scoop spoon is for you can take the tape off and kind of pour them in there and then they will come right out the spout which should fit in each one of those potion containers and then you can mix it and do what you want so that's kind of the, the down low for your potions container. Thank you for following along. I hope you enjoyed your Harry Potter themed box. Um, next month we are gonna be doing a game theme. So think about what type of game you might like to put together and how you wanna represent uh, that you're awesome at it. Thanks guys, see you soon.